Jade Lee Pulsar, who's standing by for us in Port Elizabeth. Thanks very much for joining us, uh, Jade Lee. What's the latest? Good afternoon, Pooh, and good afternoon to the viewers. Well, I can tell you that the court has adjourned until 3 o'clock this afternoon, and that's basically just to give the presiding judge, and that is Mandela um, Makaula, the opportunity to look at that submission brought by the defense advocate, Peter Doberman. Now, this morning was a very interesting start to the first day of the trial, on what was the trial. We saw Peter Doberman actually um, filing a submission to object the charges on the indictment. Um, he's calling for some of the charges that are on that, that indictment to be squashed by the judge. He's saying that there are simply no dates and time references to those charges. And he's also saying that, you know, that charge sheet, that indictment was poorly, um, you know, set up by the state. He's also wondering and asking why the state has brought such a poor indictment. But the state's um, prosecutor, Neba and Telua, says that they do have the correct dates in place and that the witnesses in question, they make up the testimony of this, this case. And he's saying that they do have the times, they do have the places where these offences occurred and that they will be providing the defence that opportunity to go through that. But for now, they have not done so. So the defence is actually saying, you know, this is a delaying tactic by the state. They want to prolong the, the proceedings and they've called on the state to actually provide that specific time, place and um, the days, the date rather, where the co-accused as well as the first accused, Omar Toso, allegedly trafficked some of these young girls who are said to be 13 years old, Nompu, as well as um, some of the other congregants in the Jesus Dominion International Church. But I'm coming to you from the High Court. If I can just step out of shot and Blom can show you. Right now, we do have several of the congregants still standing outside. Most of them have left. This morning, there was a large contingency of them, um, you know, calling for Omar Tosa's relief. We've, we, we've seen them over the couple of um, year now. He's been incarcerated for 18 months. That's a year and a half. And they're saying that this is a spiritual attack by those victims who have come forward saying that Omar Tosa allegedly assaulted them um, in the different branches across the JDI congregation which expands all across Africa as well as Durban and they're just saying that you know this is not true the man that they call daddy the man that they know is a spiritual man could not have have you know um, um, done these heinous crimes and they're calling for his release they do know that he will be released and there's just no um, factual evidence and they're just calling these witnesses who are going to be taken to the stand shortly um, probably in the next week or so saying that they are blatantly lying and there's no substantial evidence that backs up the fact that Omotoso allegedly recruited young girls um, at the Jesus Dominion International Church and lured them to his house in Umflanga in KZN. So right now I can tell you there is an adjournment. We will be going back to court at three o'clock and we will see whether that submission by the defense advocate Peter Doberman will be granted with some of the charges squashed or, or taken off um, the indictment but we'll keep you up to, to speed on pool. Thanks very much for that, Jade Lee. That was our reporter, Jade Lee Pulsar, reporting from Port Elizabeth. Condolences are streaming for